Hello everybody, Crimson Bear here, and we're at the new Swan Reserve today. And we're going to Amari. New hotel means new restaurant, so here we go. Be sure to zero to hero. You heard the girl. I already asked about the vegan options. It's modify one of the three salads. But it's really not. It's modify one salad. The running man. Because I think the orange peel is running man. What sold me is not just the mezcal, but the vegan egg powder. I'm here for that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like sweet but like not too sweet, almost like a syrup, but not like a syrup. And it's a really delicious drink. I'm gonna give that four out of five running men. Arnold would approve. Put my napkin on my lap like it. I actually have some home training even though, you know, I don't. But here we have the running man, which is a very uh, pretty looking cocktail with some interesting ingredients. It, God, the smells are gonna put you in your behind, but uh, let's actually see here. Ooh. A syrup is too strong. I'm curious for the use of the vegan egg on it. It doesn't really taste any a normal cocktail. It tastes pretty similar in strength to like what you would expect out of like a martini, but it's not harsh. It's smooth all the way through, a little bit sweet, but you can still taste the kick of alcohol. Not mad at that. Presentation drink, a four to five plus. Here we have a Swan and Dolphin exclusive, the Fins and Feathers Pale Ale. Now I don't like pale ales, but I do like the words exclusive. Delusions of grandeur. Either way, uh, we looked tried to see if it was vegan, inconclusive. We normally do pre-checks on all our alcohol before the princess drinks them, but since we can't figure this one out, this one's all for me. Ooh, smells like a pale ale. I mean, it's actually rather smooth. I would say it's gonna be really hoppy and it's really hop forward, but it smooths up towards the end, which makes it fairly drinkable and light. Not too heavy, not too harsh. It's like three out of five claws. Anything over Bud Light. Judge a good restaurant by its bread. Unfortunately, they have no plant-based options for bread. They do gluten-free, but even the gluten-free bread is not vegan. Which is a shame because you have like this beautiful uh, olive topping on on top of hummus. Like it would make such a good vegan spread. It's just a couple of extra steps there to make this so much better. But let's go ahead and dive in. I guess this is, the one upside is the princess hates olives, so you know. All on top and on probably wouldn't be her jam. Got a nice healthy dose, some nice crusty bread, some oats in it. Uh, let's top this off. Do a very strong all on top and knock, like smack you in the face. Bread nice and crisp, nice crust to it, nice and soft in the middle. The hummus is nice and smooth. It's definitely above average for table red. Three and a half out of five plus. large beautiful salad and I'm actually very appreciative of the fact that I'm not eating a wedge salad because I feel like every salad I've had recently has been a wedge. This one is quite beautiful. You have all this like dill, lettuce, got onions, this artichokes. These look like my jam. Olives, I'm gonna avoid those. And cucumbers. Did check to make sure that the dressing was vegan as well. So I'm gonna get just a little bit. I don't know if I want like a whole piece of onion. Damn, this is like, you can't even puncture this. This is like super shredded lettuce. This is like 
what you'd find on a burger, like a fast food burger style shredded lettuce. Forces with me. seem like much but this salad is a demonstration of the exact reason why we started this channel in the first place you'll go out to eat with your friend partner or otherwise and you get a meal and they get something on a plate yes salads are vegan sometimes you want more than a salad especially for a nice dinner it doesn't seem fair. You feel bad sitting at a table with, you know, you brought your friend to get something to eat, and this is what you get. This, just looking at this suppresses me. You have what's basically slaw with a pile of olives, some raw red onions, I guess some seared artichoke, and cucumbers. It looks like a bag of salad. But I digress. Maybe the flavors are there. I have no hope for this. Artichoke with cucumbers, a single olive, and this absolutely decimated lettuce. To plant food. fresh. I don't like the shredded lettuce. It's too wet. There's no crispness to the salad. It literally just tastes like slaw. Like wet slaw. Like it's something I would eat. Don't get me wrong. It tastes healthy. It's, it's good. The flavors aren't bad. It's just a whole lot of man. One and a half out of five plus. I'm feeling mean with that. Now, whereas the princesses look like a Florida swamp, my plate looks like a playground. We have mahi mahi, which you know if you've been here long enough, I am extremely partial to. This is weird looking Israeli kushi set up, like a wall over here with some uh, colored broccoli on top, and then you have kale and a pureed something or other, and then a pour. And you know we like pours on this channel. I have no idea what it is because I didn't read the menu that well, but hey, let's go for it. Mm. As I have no idea what I'm about to stick in my mouth here, I took two magic pills, so don't freak out. But we have a good, nice grilled mahi mahi. I use some more grilled to top with the sauce and this puree. I'm gonna go ahead and do the fish by itself into the sauce. If this is bad, we're gonna have problems. There's actually a little bit of flavor to it. Seasoned well. Falls apart in the fork. Good flavor. I'm impressed. Leave that on its own. Three and a half out of five claws. I'm gonna try to get a complete bite. Got a little bit of fish. Get some of that puree in there. Sneak some kale around here. And even some couscous. So we're getting an all-in bite. There we go. Mm. Very savory and buttery. 
acoustic it slows down nice, cook well. It's a Kaler spinach here, it's a nice little touch, gives a little brightness to the fish. Everything goes well together. There's I mean, definitely a skill and love putting this dish. I just wish they had done just as much for our plant-based people that watch our videos as this. Tells me that you can do better. All in all, I'm gonna give the plate uh, four out of five claws. The fish is good. I'm not gonna knock them for that. I just wish there was more. There was smoke involved, I would order this first. <laughs> <laughs> so here I got the Madagascar Old Fashioned. I'm, the world is determined to get me to love old fashions one way or the other, but I like smoke. I like parlor tricks. I'm very easy to please when it comes to my alcohol, so uh, mm, smoke a bonfire. That's a good old fashioned. I'm not an old fashioned pro yet, but uh, I would definitely body this whole drink. It's four and a half to five claws. It's like that much below a smoked turkey. And I can't remember the last old fashioned I read anywhere near that high. I'm impressed. Claire forces me to drink these old fashions as soon as he finds out that everything in here is me friendly. Okay, so number one, I love that like oaky smell. It smells like a bonfire. Oh, I'm here for it. And then like the aftertaste is like cherry, but not too bad. It's not too harsh either. This is probably one of the best old fashions that he has ever made me try. I'm five out of five bourbons for me on this one. I just love the smell. There, you can have this drink back. I just want to smell it all night. on my tequila trend and I got the palomita but it has grapefruit juice in the tequila. It tastes like fresh squeezed juice. This is better than one I would get at the Ritz, that's for sure. Three out of five grapefruits. We have a brick oven cooked beautiful cauliflower steak. Look at this beautiful char. There's no way you will ever be able to find a cauliflower that looks better than this with some hummus and all this goodness here. Like, oh. All right, I'm gonna slice here. Oh, I don't even need to cut it. It's like butter. I'm just gonna get everything together here. It is a purple cauliflower. Mm, oh my god. Oh wow. And then there's like, oh. There's so many things just happen in my mouth right now. I would like this. Cauliflower just melted in my mouth. It's beautiful hummus. Then followed by this, whatever this is afterwards, it just gave it this like kick at the end. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna share this with me. This is really good. I'm gonna give this four out of five cauliflowers. This is uh, way better than the Taco Bell salad. So you, you, you see this? You see all this? This is done with stuff that they already had in house. The cauliflower, the olive oil, the hummus, you have like cashew, topping on top of it, oat grilled, or not oat grilled, like uh, oven grilled cauliflower steak. You see the smile that was on the front face? That's what I like to see when she comes to eat at a restaurant. That's sort of like grin across the face. She's like, this is delicious. Like I said, I knew they were capable of it. They, they definitely have something here. A little bit of everything, like the princess did. A little bit of pistachio. Look at that. Look at that. It's like an oasis. Mm. Wow. 
We've had a lot of cauliflower steak. The most recent one I can remember is Big Fire at Universal. Walked all over that. Like Dom Toretto in like a quarter mile, like this. Why isn't this on the menu? This is amazing. Like this? I would have had this over the fish. That's saying a lot. I'm not even joking. Like, uh, I can see what she doesn't want to share. It's another bite before it disappears. Legitimately? Five out of five plus. If you give me the this instead of the salad, it would have been a much different conversation. I regret almost everything I said. Mother's on fire. Was eating that salad, but that cauliflower. We have no cloud on any sort of social media ever. But if it's if anybody ever watches this channel, a chef otherwise, that that's food. That was better than my fish. Better than my better than my drink. That is a meal I remember. If this was the menu, I'd be telling people to come here all the time. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Okay, so I'm super excited for this. We got a dark chocolate goodness. We got raspberry goodness. We got raspberry caviar. And these guys remind me of flamingo cake. So I'm super excited for this. And then the design of this beautiful cake reminds me of coral reef. Mad coral reef vibes here. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go ham. This is probably way too large of a bite. Actually, I'm not gonna go to this ham. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then scrape it with this. Whoop. All right, we scrape it together. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. It's like a dark chocolate raspberry tart. Almost. I like the dark chocolate vibes and I like how the raspberry like balances with it. Usually dark chocolate is a little overpowering for me, but I think the way they have each piece together is really good and then the little like flamingo cake thingies, it just set it off. It's still rich but delicious. So I'm gonna give it um three and a half out of five raspberries. That's a good dessert. Not what I was practically coming here for, but definitely a good dessert. I'm just an innocent bear being forced to eat dessert yet again. More of chocolate, some random creams, raspberry caviar. I have no idea what that even means. But I promised you guys more desserts, and here I am yet again doing this for you. So we have this little chocolate bar here. This little like trail of delectable looking stuff. Got a little of this vegan as this cream here. Here we go. I'm always worried about dark chocolate being too rich. I don't like hyper sweet things. But given even all the chocolate and raspberries, this still comes in and like mildly sweet. Like not overpowering. It's like a nice texture in the mouth. It's nice and smooth all the way through. The crunch from like the chocolate bar and the raspberry caviar on top. With flavors that don't make you want to run no dinner chair. Honestly, I kind of like it. Three and a half out of five plus. Amare. I'll have to admit, in the beginning of this review, I thought this was going to go way, way bad. I was bad. Pretty, re pretty much ready to write the restaurant off because the salad was, like I said, a Taco Bell salad. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, but that cauliflower was cauliflower, so redeeming that I forgot about the, the mahi, salad. The the drink. The dessert. The des it was, it was, I'm going to say overall a three and a half out of five princesses yeah i think this place has a lot of potential making food like they do especially if that cauliflower ends up on the menu or a special or something else 
That was absolutely amazing. Mad I props would... to the chef because he came in late to the game. He realized after we had gotten our entrees that we were there and was like, oh, you're eating a salad? I'm sorry. Let me take care of you. Let me give you the best cauliflower of your life. Okay. Thanks, chef. Yeah, that, Thank you. That combined with the service was an amazing time. This is the most fun we've had at a dinner in quite a while. I would say if you get a chance here, definitely let them know that you're vegan, but definitely at some point, I think you should come here and give it a try. The drinks and the desserts alone are worth it. Agreed. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't want to come back here if the menu changes or something different. I think apparently there's some other restaurants in this hotel we need to try. One more? Yes, um, quick service and whatnot. They also do breakfast here. So like this video if you want us to do breakfast here. Yes, yeah, so you guys get enough of those uh, those those like thingies. And of course we'll come back because you know us, we like to eat. But we want to know, what did you think of seeing this video? Would you come tomorrow and give it a try? If there's anything else over in the Swan Reserve or the Disney World Pier you'd like to see us try, by all means, that's going to let us know. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Oh, and if you don't comment and like this video, we're never coming back to the Swan Reserve. That's what it's called. Ever again. It's totally an empty threat. But you know what? We need your comments. And if you're on television, I know you can't comment. You, you should, you know, comment on your phone. But definitely like this video because you can like the video on your television. She's completely fibbing because you can see this pool. That's all she's been talking about since before Ooh, we filmed yeah, this. Yeah, look at She look at, wants this pool. I want the pool. So, uh. Give me some likes so that we can we'll, stay here. We'll, we'll probably be back. Either way, you heard the girl.